So I think as a songwriter, your job is to make the most moving song possible, the, so the song that can resonate with the most people. But they're hopeful songs, although they have sometimes sad stories, they're, they're all hopeful. Um, they're people overcoming this or overcoming that, or that really the characters are usually people that I find inspiring. Um, you're really trying to tap into uh, what their human elements are and what makes them strong, and um, we all want to live in that way where we can be strong, or we can believe in this or believe in that, and, and if you can write a song that gets to the heart of that, I think then, uh, then you've written a song that people can believe in. Best is still is my fishing road And I still expect it back by fall Well, I think it's, it's sort of, uh, I'm tipping my hat to uh, the underdog, the person who wasn't necessarily dealt the best hand, um, but they deal with it. They, they, make, uh, they make it work, and sometimes they do things that people can't understand to get to survive and um, sometimes those have uh, bad consequences. With that song specifically, I, I knew someone recently who had to do some time, and um, I thought about that person, and they're not necessarily a bad person um, for what they did. Um, and actually, the type of person they were, I try to imagine how they um, faced that horrible experience that they had to go through, and there's something inspiring about it, the, the strength that they, um, that they had in facing that and I was trying to get to the heart of that character. We sort of ran with this idea of the prison um, going to jail sort of vibe. The idea was something between Down My Law and Shawshank Redemption. Adam Cohen um, and Joaquim uh, Porto Carrero, who, who did the video, they did an absolutely great job of finding places that sort of fit the time period and uh, the aesthetic of the video. The bridge and also the cottage, they were both in upstate New York in the Hudson Valley area. A part of it actually was filmed in an actual jail cell. Um, and the way we were able to get that jail cell was a friend of mine, she got a DUI. And she, uh, while she was being held in the holding cell, she started talking up the lieutenant and uh, she told him, hey, my friend's a musician, he's looking to make a video and he was a really nice guy and he let us come in and film so we really lucked out and we were able to get some great footage of an actual cell. There was two stark differences in the character and how he perceived what was going on in his life. It's, there's the dream world um, of what he imagined uh, his, his memories um, and um, sort of where the song lives and then there's the reality of his existence, where he, is, where he finds himself now. And I think that the video playing on those two aspects was really important. People in his life had moved on. Life doesn't stand still when you're, um, when you're gone. Um, I think we all can understand that. So no one's there to pick him up, so he starts hitchhiking. It's a new chapter for him, I think, for us to understand in life that new chapters exist. And I think him jumping in the back of the, of the truck, he's embracing the unknown. He doesn't know where he's going, he doesn't really care. He's going to start a new chapter in his life. That's the optimistic part of it.